Hello wet shavers. Got a cool one in store for you today. Coming to you from Sheldon Quinn is a prototype. It is called Barista. And I kinda uh, tested it last night. It has a nice uh, tea tree oil smell to it. Uh, this is the Melaleuca oil, but this is not the final product. So it's glycerin. Here's the sample size he sent me. Um, that's that. But uh, yes, this is not done or completed by any means. The end result is going to smell like coffee, from what I'm to understand. He's going with the whole coffee theme. So I am going to grab my brush that I've had soaking. This is the Vanderhagen Boar sent to me at Christmas time, given to me by my daughter's mother. Thank you, Paula. This is the green handle. I have the blue handle from the set. I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. Kind of a throwback shave a little bit. I'm gonna use Sheldon's, um, Sheldon Quinn's other razor that he gave me. I should have looked that up. Is it the Americana or whatever one it is? It's the Nordic Brass one. So I've got this going, this going, I'm gonna add a little more water to the soap. Like I said, it is um, glycerin, sorry. It's thirsty almost. Add a little more. Seems to take whatever water you give it. If I remember, I'll put uh, which, I still have the packet, I think. I'll put the, uh, which razor this, this is. Or maybe I'll do it during the, uh, after the rinse when I'm off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that ready. Okay, it is the espresso. The razor is the espresso. But the soap today is the star of the show and it's the barista. I do know that Melaleuca oil is very, very healing. I used to get that stuff all the time through the company Melaleuca. And uh, that is a top quality ingre ingredient. But um, Uh, Mr. Quinn told me that the final product will have, um, it will be caffeinated. I don't know if I have too much water, but I am getting some dissipation here. So, Definitely feels good on my face. The Melaleuca has like a medicinal smell, but like I said, the final product will have a um, coffee smell. Okay, well, I am getting dissipation. That doesn't really matter. That bristle right there is gonna drive me crazy. So I have the espresso razor. I don't know if I'm getting dissipation or not. Maybe I was just, we'll look, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Espresso razor with a feather blade. Am I recording? I am recording. Okay, here we go. Just a little, just a little dissipation. I didn't stretch, did I always forget to do that? This 
So that's uh, dissipated, so go ahead and You hear my stomach? It's about time to eat. I'm gonna be good this weekend. And... I'll let you know Monday whether I hit that mile marker that I wanna tell you about. Um, this razor with a feather, as I thought it would be. Golden. First use, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. First use, just so you believe me. First use feather, high stainless. He said he had a feather in there, there's no way, no? That's effortless. Wow. While I'm getting dissipation, it's still slick. Yes, I know that's cross grain. Yeah, this is a very mild combo. It's really, really just comfortable. Just right. Now, let me get some, uh, some water here real quick. Oh yeah, real slick. Really nice. Really good. You can just put water on there and go back over it. The slickness is what matters. That one's for you. All right, I'm gonna get some more water on my face. We'll get into pass two. Okay, I'm gonna dip the tip of the brush in the water here. Go back to the puck. Gather some more. Make it a little thicker this time and see if just lathering it a little longer won't uh, stop the dissipation. Maybe it just needs a little extra uh, lathering time. While I am honest, I don't want to be too hard on a product. I'm not a soap maker yet. Was talking to a very good friend about that today about me making soap. I'm revisiting the idea and I'm gonna do it this time. Uh, of course with this person's help. This is about this product today though so let's not talk about that. This is the Prototype Barista Soap with the Espresso razor. So it's the Java shaving system. And look at this. It just needed a little extra help, just a little extra lathering. It's thicker, it's sticking around. Hey, operator error, it happens. So I'm going to shave this side and we'll see what that side looks like when I'm done.
again I'll say it uh, this combo is stupid comfortable sticking around so just uh, as far as so far with the prototype uh, a little extra lathering I noticed the same thing with Erasmic, even though I don't think Erasmic was this thick, uh, slick, sorry. I didn't really show you this razor, did I? Look at that gorgeous brass. Sorry I'm shaking a little. I, I did exert myself a little bit today working. I'm paid to do it, but it's not work. I love doing it. Lawn care. Spreading fertilizer. Making people's lawns look great. You're making lawns great again. We're making them better than ever. Let's decide better than ever. Just got off the phone with Carl. We get on the phone, and this is the Facebook phone. And, you know, I don't have it on, but I could talk for 10 minutes. I'm like, yeah, right, because we can talk for 10 minutes. We always get on some interesting conversation. That I don't think either of us wants to wants to leave. One of the few he's one of the few people that I can actually be on the phone with. Otherwise I'm like I'm um, looking for reasons to get off the phone. This look at this, it's stuck around. It's not it's not great, but it, it, hey, yeah, just a little extra out the lather, and, uh, here's where, here's where it really comes in. Would I change anything about this soap? Other than the scent, it doesn't have one yet. When it does, if I like the scent, the answer is no, I wouldn't change anything about it. It's slick enough and it sticks around long enough. Just give it a little extra lather. That was heavy. That was heavy. Sorry. Let's stick around for a second. Make sure I slipped a little. Am I gonna? Did I get myself? Eh. I guess I didn't. Jill, you say I'm heavy-handed. All right. I try not to be. I really do. But I want to get. Does that look heavy handed? Does that look heavy handed? Is it just appearing heavy handed on camera? I know several people have gotten after me for that. That's fine. You can critique the shave all you want. And uh, I do consider everything everybody says. We're doing best anyway. I'm not the brightest guy. But you say it's heavy handed. And I'm thinking to myself. I don't think I'm pushing hard. Sometimes I do just to. Give a little extra. Kick. To the, to the shave. So with the uh, oil that that soap has in it, it almost feels slightly methylated. But um, the soap washes away. Like I am not 
sticky like I would be with a lot of soaps. Your hand, you know, you know what I'm talking about that sticky feeling. This has actually cleaned my face. So not only does it help you shave, it actually, my face feels extremely clean. You could actually wash with this soap. A little bit of witch hazel. Um, this is the B squared Beyond Belief from Sally Beauty. That's where I picked it up anyway. You could probably find that at a bunch of different places. All right, while that is dry, drying, I almost said driving again. Let's take a look at the brush. Okay, so not dense, not dense at all, but slick, very slick. Still has that Melaleuca smell, you know, that really nice, but really slick. This is really, really slick soap. Um, slightly uh, bigger bubbles is what I see here. So, um, there are a few soaps that come to mind, but um, uh, the sample is making it into the rotation. And I've got plenty, plenty of lather left over here in this bowl. So let's take a look at this lather. Is this dense? Now this is a little denser. This is a little, but it wasn't much. So it's still a really slick soap. I really um I really like it. What did I just drop? Oh, the lid to the soap. Hey, you gave me. <laughs> Goes on that. Um, right, so that's done. All right, so aftershave. Brute. And I do believe this is my mentholated bottle. I originally thought that this soap was mentholated, so I thought I'll pick a mentholated one to go along with it. Yeah, that's the mentholated one. I need to mark it. All right, I think I will do that. Where's my, where's my Sharpie? Here it is. Oh man. Just put a big M on there. I'm gonna put mints, mints. There we go. And as far as moisturizer goes today, I'm gonna do this stuff again. The uh, unscented lotion, keep it basic. About a pea size. Spread the menthol around again. So the soap. I do like it. Again, glycerin. It's got melaleuca in it. That might be affecting the lather a little bit. Uh, but melaleuca is very good for you. It's going to have caffeine in it. The final product is. And um, it's very slick. So, do I recommend this soap? You betcha, I do. You should have, when he comes out with this, when Mr. Quinn comes out with this, I would get this. I don't know, he did tell me that the, the size and the price that it's gonna be, but I don't wanna go ahead and announce that yet. I don't know if he's kinda still has that in the works or not, so I don't wanna uh, say anything that he'll have to maybe retract later. But um, yes, I would recommend that soap. Little chilly, I've got t-shirt and shorts. I don't feel like going to the porch. So um, I'll just uh, say that's a wrap. I hope everything's going okay for you. Hope you're having good shaves and I'll see you Monday. Take care.